हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर श्वेता आनंद एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सिंप्लीफाइड डेंटिस्ट्री इन टूडेज वीडियो लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट जी वी ब्लैक्स क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ डेंटल केरीज देर आर मेनी डिफरेंट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ डेंटल केरीज बट द मोस्ट वाइडली एक्सेप्टेड इज द जी वी ब्लैक्स क्लासिफिकेशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड ए वीडियो ऑन द डिफरेंट वेज इन विच अ केरियस लीजन कैन बी क्लासीफाइड एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट अदर क्लासिफिकेशन you can watch that video i'll mention its link in the description box now let's move on to the gv black's classification which is based on the treatment and restoration design so this classification was developed by gv black to categorize carious lesion based on the type of the tooth affected that is whether the affected tooth is anterior or posterior and the location of the lesion that is the surface of the tooth involved so it can include any surface of the tooth lingual surface buccal surface occlusal surface or proximal surface so before moving on to the classification it is very important to have an idea about the surfaces of a tooth so let's have a look on the surfaces of tooth first is facial surface so this is the surface of a tooth that is directed towards the face that is towards the cheeks or lips So if it is a posterior teeth the surface directed towards the face means the surface nearest to cheeks and the word buccal literally means cheek so the surface that touches the cheek or the surface on the cheek side of the jaw is known as the buccal surface and if it is an anterior teeth the surface directed towards the face means the surface nearest to the lips latin for lip is labium and the term labial originates from this word and it means anything of or related to lips so basically it refers to lips so the facial surface of anterior teeth means that it is the labial surface so we can also say that the facial surface of posterior teeth is the buccal surface and the facial surface of anterior teeth is the labial surface next is the lingual surface so the surface of the tooth next to tongue is known as lingual surface and it is called so because in latin tongue is known as lingua and from there lingual word is originated palatal word can also be used when referring to the lingual surface of a maxillary teeth as the lingual surface of maxillary teeth is directed towards the palate and is known as palatal surface and the term is strictly used in maxilla so palatal surface is only present in the maxillary arch and the lingual surface is the surface of the tooth next to the tongue in the mandibular arch now comes the proximal surface so the surface of the tooth towards another tooth in dental arch is known as proximal surface and each tooth has two proximal surface one is mesial surface and the other is distal surface mesial surface is the surface closest to median line of the face whereas distal surface is the surface away from median line of face so mesial surface is towards the midline and distal surface is away from midline and the last one is the masticatory surface and this surface aids in chewing and is divided into occlusal surface and incisal surface the chewing surface of posterior teeth is known as occlusal surface whereas the chewing surface of anterior teeth is known as incisal surface So this was all about the surfaces of a tooth and now let's move back to the GV Black's classification. So according to GV Black's classification dental caries is of six types. Class 1, class 2, class 3, class 4, class 5 and class 6 caries. So the class 1 caries is the caries affecting picked and fissures on the occlusal third and occlusal two third of molars and premolars and also on the lingual part of the anterior teeth. So class 1 is the only pit and fissure caries whereas the rest are smooth surface caries and is present on the occlusal surfaces of posterior teeth and if the pit and fissure extends down to the lingual and buccal surface of posterior teeth it is also included in class 1 caries and also the pits and fissures present on the lingual surfaces of the anterior teeth so it is occlusal surface for the posterior teeth and lingual surface for the anterior teeth Class 2 caries is the caries affecting proximal surface of premolars and molars that is of the posterior teeth. 
So class 2 basically involves proximal surface that is either the mesial surface or distal surface or both of the posterior teeth. Class 3 caries is the caries affecting proximal surface of anterior teeth that is incisors and canines and it does not involve the incisal angles. Class 4 caries is the caries affecting proximal surface of anterior teeth involving the incisal angle that is the incisal edges of the anterior teeth. Now let's compare class 2, class 3 and class 4 caries. So as we have already discussed that these three includes the proximal surface caries but the location is different. Class 2 caries is the caries on proximal surface of posterior teeth whereas class 3 and 4 caries is the caries on the proximal surface of anterior teeth but the difference is that class 3 does not involve the incisal angles whereas class 4 involves the incisal angles that is the incisal edges of the teeth. So either one or both the incisal edges can be included. Class 5 caries is the caries affecting gingival one third of the facial or lingual surfaces of the anterior or posterior teeth. So basically class 5 is the caries involving gingival third of all tooth and the surface can be either facial or lingual or palatal. Class 6 was never described by Black and was later added by Simon. It includes caries affecting cusp tips of molars, premolars and cuspids, that is the canines. So class 6 basically involves the cusp tips without including any other surface. So this was all about G.V. Black's classification of dental caries. Hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching and for more such contents, please subscribe to the channel Simplified Dentistry.